Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and it's been one of those weekends where suddenly it's a bit like buses. We have no AX instruments, and then two come along at the same time. In fact, there's a couple more out there as well. But uh, this is Blade by Rob Papen. It's his first AAX shipping plug-in. We've got a tip off about it, and so I've put a story up on the site, and here's a video of it in action so i'm going to do a show and tell let you know what i think again it's demo you can download the demo i'm not sure you can download the aax version but you can certainly download the rtas version as a demo and try that in pro tools for now but this is the aax version i have here and i just want to show you in action so it's really cool and it's uh very soundscape that's the best way to explain it. it's very good for electronic music and really big lush kind of uh, complex sounds and it's all driven by this thing called the harmonator in its most basic form it's a kind of additive synthesis which enables you to create very complex waveforms uh, from very simple stuff and so we're not going to get into deep detail now about that i'm just going to show you it in action and show you the different things it can do and then uh, you can download the demo and try it for yourself so here it is and you have a uh, preset settings at the top here we can go through and we can choose them like that and choose different sounds or we can go through different banks and try them as well there we go or we can go and look at in the preset manager now that's quite nice because you can actually then go through them very quickly so we can go for like the introduction bank here and play it we can just As you can hear, quite a lot of ethereal stuff, and there's hundreds and hundreds of presets, so it's going to, can't go through all of them, but you get the idea. Now what's cool as well, because there are so many presets in there as well, there's a find button. So let's say I want to go through and find all the pad sounds. I just put pad in there now and it finds all my... Let's come out of there now. And let me explain something in detail. So this is where the sound source originates, but what's really cool about it is we have this thing called the XY pad. So this, uh, at the moment, is running the sound and it's giving us some movement in the sound. And basically you have an XY, you have uh, the bass and the ripple there and there, and then you have the width and stuff across there from all of this part of the harmonator. So at the moment, if we turn it off, so there's the sound. which you can, of course, modify here. But the whole point of it, and this is why this is so primary in the interface, is the ability to go through and either in a manual way. Now, XY pads are not a new thing. They've been around for years, but what you can do on this is pretty cool. You can decide how this is going to be affected by using these here. Coming down here. But then you can record it as well, so we can come in here and we go. And it plays as you play it. You can loop it as well, so rather than it returning back, it'll go around in circles now. And also it's synced to the sequencer, so if we just put on the click of this, or just this, this beat for a second, let's just put this beat on, and turn the rest of it off for a second. So, uh...
and all different timings. So that's really cool, that is. So I love the way you've got this whole organic sound that you're able to then sync up with uh, your DAW. Then you have all the normal features, like you have an amp envelope, velocity, LFOs, uh, envelope for the filters and stuff as well. So all the standard stuff as well. The filters down here are pretty complex, all the way through from uh, high pass, low pass, band pass, and uh, vox and comb, and all that kind of stuff. And different uh, versions of distortion as well that you can apply to the sound, so it's pretty complex. And I'll just give you some more sounds again, uh, coming back into the manager. So arpeggiator. We also have an easy mode. If you don't want to get into very complex stuff, there's a very easy mode as well to use this in instead of the complex version of it as well. So it's very, very comprehensive. As I say, it's different from the synth I showed yesterday because the sounds are much more complex. The synthesis is much more complex, but it's very powerful. Even just by using the stuff out of the box, there's pretty cool stuff there. As I say, if you really get under the hood, you could really get some really cool sounds out of this. Now talking about load on it again, we looked at this yesterday in another video, system usage, SSA, CPU there, I've got three instances of it at the moment and it's it, it's barely moving the needle and even when we start playing them as well and using them, it's pretty cool. So. Uh... <laughs> sound on the arpeggiators again so you can see great for dance and stuff Pad. Let's try another one. Some movement on that again. So a very original sounding synthesizer. My recommendation is go over to Rob Pappen and download this VI, even if you can't get down the AX version because you need to be a owner of the product, then you can at least download the Artaz version and try it. And if you like it, then you can grab hold of the AX update. So very cool synth. As I say, very different from the other one I showed yesterday, which was the Twin 2 from FabFilter. So it's great to see AX synths arriving on Pro Tools, ready for the next version of Pro Tools. So keep coming back and we'll keep updating you. So that's my show and tell. And I think it's great. It has a unique place in a, a sound arsenal. If you're making this kind of stuff, whether you're making film scores and you need some really ethereal organic sounds or whether you're making dance music and you need those really cool uh, ARP sounds and those cool bass sounds and those kind of real wobble basses, then this is well worth a look at. So head over to Rob Pappen, download the demo, and give it a go for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.